good to see you, V. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? You look close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Sure you can trust him? Yes. <laughs> Convincing. Very. I have nothing to lose. Is that better? Worse. Because I got plenty to lose. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Takemura-san. Oda. Is this him? Your thief. He's my witness, V. Can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are, you have it. V. You can trust Oda. All right, then. Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until... Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started... Silence! Choking. Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama. Most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike But you Pierre. can't ignore the truth. Correct. Unlike you. I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cut- Sorry, but this is gonna take much longer. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu Sama. What would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider yourself Raki. Oda. Uh, not like we're asking for a whole lot here. Just one brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm. 
How do you figure that? What Oda said. They return to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If somehow we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Uh, hang on. Not so fast. Make it sound as easy as hacking a schism. You said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest security in all night city. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. No, just the fixer dame. Wakaku Akada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman as woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? I was just asking. Is everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I am... I am simply not used to such questions. People like me, either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. Okay, sure. How about a quickie? You, you asshole! You dirty eating, no good. That'll keep you hard for hours. Hey, you're looking for some company tonight? Yeah. Mm, how I miss the sound. 
Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the Claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite kohei desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Would have already made the call if you intended to. Simple. You're curious to see what we got. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka again. What I fail to understand is why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Bill, I'm waiting. Remind me you why Dex is fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped in a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No threat, no. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex, I answered. Just facts, nothing more. Good, cause you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free? You sure? Got my reasons, but patience, I got none. Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old, automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for. Blissful ignorance has served me well. In any case, I'll find out soon, won't I? Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san.
a delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time. Hey, Claire. Next race. You ready? It'll be a tough one. Off-road, lots of lead flying. We'll take Beast. I want to try her out in the field. Nova. FYI, I'm already here. Perfect. Join me in a sec. Sounds good. See ya. No, no, I don't have it. Well, how am I supposed to know who's got it? Dude, this is your problem, not mine. No, no, I don't have it. Hey, V. Good well, to see you again. Got, got another race to run, Dude, huh? this is your problem, not mine. Second of four, I hope. Ready to go off-road? It's not a fan-friendly event, is it? You want to bake in this sun. Speed, carnage, a crunching metal symphony? Yeah, dull stuff. Think this one will be tough? Badlands, so no fucking around. Anything goes in this race. So you'll have your hands full. You too. One mistake and we'll be a four-ton tumbleweed. I can do this. Okay, I'm just gonna melt under that sun, so I'm gonna wait in the car. Sure. I really thought you'd stand me up again. I thought Fooly would have to ride shotgun. Fooly is a fantastic and shot. Get your pants on he is, right, he is. And but he's talking always. Engine. Too much. 30 His mouth seconds never stops counting. running. It's just... Hey, you! Ignore him. So Luigi next tries time to I actually hands. don't make it, there's duct tape yeah, in the trunk. What's up? Just saying. Just wanted to wish you luck! Thanks. Resource too tight, you might get kicked.
and easy. Drive up to the finish line. How am I doing? You're too wide around corners and slow down the last straightaway, but I'm nitpicking. So, no regrets putting me behind the wheel? Not yet. Your last driver is better than I am? He was. A good husband. An amazing wheelman. So you're racing for him? He adored this shit. Had a keen mind for machines, unmatched. He could talk to him. When he got behind the wheel, it was like he fused with it. But just him. No implants. What do you say we win this for him? I'm counting on you. you Want a lift to my garage? Sure, thanks. Let's go. Why, no way the missus will believe I bet on the winning board. No way.
Claire. V, ready for the next race? Already here, ready and waiting. You want to use your own ride, or am I bringing Beast? Beast, it's time to unleash her. Can't keep a spit-shined animal like that caged up in your garage. Well said. Meet there, yeah, Rancho. Be right there. See you then. under the hood before we start, see if all's okay. But stay close, just in case. I worry this will get you killed. What, today? The race? Why? I'm not asking about just today. Could be, though. Or the next one. One after that. She and mine got shocked and killed by a faulty toaster in her own kitchen. So, you know, it is what it is. Case her all are off. This race is giving me all the wrong vibes. Why is that? You got 6th Street, the mocks. Gangs are well repped. Just a matter of when a temper goes nuclear. It'll be fine, don't worry. Sorry, you need a minute to kick the tires before we get moving. Sure. Try.
Moving to path. Dare him to try. Hell yeah! Don't stop yet, okay? Move up a bit first. What for? You need to talk. Something you should know. Okay. Sit down for a spell over there. to come here wanted to tell me something I mentioned Dean before my husband yeah wheel to your heat right sweetest man I ever knew we were friends before my gender transition he brought daffodils to the hospital it's a new beginnings he said were you married long Twelve years. Dean used to laugh that for our fifteenth, said he'd finally talked me into my first implant. I was prepping some surprise. Hey, you mind if I ask why you don't sport any chrome? I love machines, V, I do. But I don't ever want to become one. Is that weird? A little, I guess. But it's fine. Dean. Only person who could have convinced me to chrome up. But guess we'll never know if he'd have managed, huh? Why tell me about Dean? Meaning, why now? He died during a race last year. The final. Not your standard fatality, though. This have something to do with our race? Sort of. Thing is, Dean was murdered. He was flatlined by a Corpo Eagle Weasel, Peter Sampson. Exceptional walking rot. Your husband. How'd he die exactly? We'd just powered into the final straight, Sampson peeling up the tarmac ahead of us. It was clear we couldn't win, so Dean let up on the chew. And then that snake slammed on the brakes. Dean also had to. We lost control. Hey, but isn't that how this race works? You don't get it. Road was clear to the finish line. He would have won. It was premeditated. Your husband. How'd he die exactly? We'd just powered into the final straight. Samson peeling up the tarmac ahead of us. It was clear we couldn't win, so Dean let up on the chew. And then that snake slammed on the brakes. Dean also had to. We lost control. Hey, but isn't that how this race works? You don't get it. Road was clear to the finish line. He would have won. It was premeditated. What's the Corpo's deal? Doesn't really matter. It was only ever another adversary to me. But to Dean, Dean and Samson had a history going way back. And something happened between them? Dean never admitted anything, but yeah. Yeah, there was some kind of strife. Something personal to their rally rivalry. When Samson came first, Dean got hot and bothered. Right. So this isn't business as usual. For you, this isn't about winning. That's right. Fuck winning. I want Samson dead. And this is your best plan for vengeance. Folks die on the track all the time. Won't seem unusual at all. Another day at the races, in line with the rules. And if Samson doesn't show for the race, what then? <laughs> He'd never miss a chance to puff out his chest. He'll race. 
Circuit champ last year. No way he'll let that go. Not try to repeat. And me? Guess you want my help to zero him. Killing Samson matters more than taking first. We have to make a choice. Sorry I lied to you, V. It means a lot to you, this. So yeah, let's bury the bastard. Thank you. This, it's important. I need it. See you for the final? That's right. Till then, V. from Okada-san. Very valuable. I also learned something through my own efforts. We must meet. Where will it be this time? Trash processing plant? Deserted end cart station? In the south of Japan town, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. Arasaka not have enough of its own people. Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Zoom He's got no. the gift of the gap. Can't be denied. But I need to steal your buddy for a sec. What are you? Goro, good to see you. As it is to see you, V. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. What's in it for Yorinobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
There's no time to Lots waste. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need. I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki? <laughs> Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Let us move on. Hey! To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, getting more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shot. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Fucking worked. And done. Systems ours. The shot works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sid, I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Sokka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. Chill, Johnny. The Sokka scum to you, I know that. Goro's not a bad guy. Not a bad guy. He was Saburo fucking Arasaka's bodyguard. Think his pretty eyes landed in that gig? What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, 
I convinced Hanako-sama of the truth. We got five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. We won't ever be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. This your elaborate seppuku ritual? What? Why? As far as I can see, you're trying to get us killed. Really like to know why. The risks are substantial, yes. But we have no choice. Hanako-sama is our only chance. You have nothing to lose, as I do. I see it in your eyes. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. You're a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! I have decided to double the amount of our active flesh. Night City security forces. President Myers has called this a breach. He eliminated the last obstacle between force. himself For and the complete power. The NUSA they surrendered it to him. Tell me then, what do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside, all of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa! The factions inside our Osaka? What are they? There are three. Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka. Treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Tell me about them some other time. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Why'd Saburo tolerate it? Get my head around it. Could get the sun on a short leash. Arasaka sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family. Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Wait, you think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. I have found a good place to observe. 
We must just climb up here. Now this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much. Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attentions. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Oh, can you run and grab some pizza? Take out the food? No. Just know, if I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod, or with grilled salmon. No, even better, with umeboshi plums. Mmm, Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once, pride on his face. It was a protein bar. Saburo Arasaka with a protein bar? Get out of here. Like a true soldier. Okay, enough. Or well, we'll both grow hungry. Let's do this. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Pipes, see him? We could use them to get inside. Got eyes on the comm system. There's a lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. This is not bad. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Was liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Armor 
secret door. Seal tight. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in then. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. They'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a back and echo. Back and echo? Ah, shit! It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune, can restore the dead back to life. Feline ghost? Suppose anything's possible. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Where'd you grow up anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. Childhood memories. Let's see. Hopping buildings, running away from badges, iron taste of blood from a split lip. I remember the chemical stench of the canal. Where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slab. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 has the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. Let me guess, so they could turn them into Corvo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, serves in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention, and Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. The 
All he had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend, Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. So Spill, how'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I, in the name of principles. Wasn't judging you. And true, you are both the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here, your corporate world and its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability? Save Chiba 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that, too. We cannot fix everything at once. You already forget what happened at Tom's diner? People hate Corpse more than anything. Can't blame him, either. Got some regrets, but clapping from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Don't be smart. Got no idea what I feel. There's one thing you should know. It is about Mr. Wells. About Jack? What is it? When I set out to find you, others went to find Jackie. They took his body. For the life of me can't figure why. So his mom couldn't give him a proper send-off? Arasaka has a method for pulling the information from the dead. What are you talking about? Don't ask for details. I understand little. I know they used the Soul Killer program to do so. They can pull an engram from Wells' body. Damaged. Incomplete. But still an engram. Motherfuckers. Evil. Jackie's psyche. Where are they keeping it? This, I do not know. Why am I only hearing this now? I did not know I could trust you. The circumstances have changed. The Bakanenko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something, hmm? Oh, fuck, fuck get, get worse. worse. You do not look so bad.
reason for firing. Hundo. I'll be in touch. The diversionary action, that is mine to do. Amir, you. you really now try to enter what? the warehouse? Did I drop them? I will draw the you attention of any man. Mm, rather clever. That's why I'm here. Very well. I have reached the roof. I'll be in their communication system soon.
when you step out. Ah, even I see you now. Had it right. Got an access point to the security systems. Excellent. I am also making progress.
here. Freaks, too. You will have fresh air once you reach the warehouse area. Oh, 
I'll make the system sick.
Come out with your hands in the air! Both sides to do with as we please. You can fly to Tokyo if you want. Haha, <laughs> I just may do that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Can you see? Terrible chaos. Even the roof is slowly. Me, the roof. That is your will. There are buildings around, smaller ones. Use them to come down. Worked. Excellent work, B. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. 
I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already. Claire, hey. Finals upon us, V. Big day is here. Sure is. Want to meet up? I'm already here. Yep, but listen. This will be highway driving, so we'll want a machine that runs on lightning. Your choice. Your rig or my beast? Beast's my choice. What do you say? We won't be sorry. We meeting at the starting line? That's right. Wait for me there. Done, Samson. Get away from me, you whack. No remorse? Not a bit? None whatsoever. What's going on here? Samson, Dixbert thinks I'm gonna let him go. You're dead. You hear me? This your new driver? I'd get out while I could if I were you. Claire can't seem to keep her partners alive for long. You motherfucker! Truth is, Dean was as shit a husband as he was a driver. Head swelled lots larger than he could manage, and he paid for it. Face the facts. I didn't kill him. His ego did. You're a waste of organic matter, Samson. Clear, stop it. We got a race coming up, damn it. You're done! Fuck off. Claire, come on. Save some steam for later. Do something for me, Dave? Yeah. Give me a close on his tail, but I'll stay there. Man, Bring some I'm friends. Telling. We'll celebrate. Oh, we to if you win so today, we gon' take you straight to paradise. Okay, folks. Get to your rigs. Time to crush some steel and bash some heads.
wind out of his sails. Get on his butt! Trust me, you'd know. It bends every way but the right. Fuck! Catch up to a quick! Swap it out for a new one just yet. In Night City, impracticality is always in vogue. You might just be on the forward edge of fashion. How's life, Samson? Claire, please don't! I, I, I didn't do anything! Worm. Is that so? Hey, no, please! Don't let her do this! Claire, I beg you! Jesus, Claire, what, what the fuck do you want? I, I didn't kill Dean! Sift your trap! He got himself killed for fuck's sakes! Please let me go! Talk your way out of this. What's he talking about? Does it matter? He's just trying to save his skin. No, please, don't let her! I didn't kill her husband! I said shut your hole! Claire, wait. I want to hear him out. What for? What do you got to say, Samson? Dean tried to pass me just before the finish line, but he, he lost control. You rammed us! Even so, is that against the rules? It's this kind of racing! Is that true, Claire? That Samson did what anyone would do? It doesn't matter. The bastard killed... Dean, he has to pay for it! What do you want from me? You killed... like everyone! Claire, it was an accident. It's racing. I loved him. Loved him more than life itself, and now I'm supposed to let this... this... I'm supposed to let this shit go? That what you expect? Fine. Do what you will. Time to die, asshole. Wait, no! Your husband wasn't the same you think! Reasons for firing. Let's get out of here, V. All over. Guess so. Your husband. What was he like? He liked to sleep in. Getting more and more. Scared I'll lose what's left of him. Don't forget what matters most. How he made you feel. Yeah. You're all right, Claire. What? Why? You look pretty down. I'm not. To be honest, I don't think I feel anything. It's okay. You'll get better. What will? Well, everything, I guess. We'll move on. The only place I want to go right now is my liquor cabinet. Any desire to do it again? Team up for a race? No, V. In fact, I'm not gonna race ever again. Ever? Ever. That was something we had. Something Dean and I shared. I just needed you to get Samson.
yours. Wait, what? You're giving me a rig? It's not mine. It belonged to me and Dee. But since we are no more... Take care, V. And watch those turns or you'll end up wrapped around a lamppost.